one thing that often gets forgotten, and, and this I think is a good point of education too, is we get often asked like, when should I be treating the fuel? And to put put that to bed right now, depends on your environment and where you're at, but especially some of the big fleets we work with, they turn all their fuel over in October. They go from a summer treatment to a winter treatment and they keep that in till March. So there's nothing in an anti-gel that is going to hurt your diesel fuel if you use this stuff in the middle of the summer. So you can't be too hot. You're just not getting the benefit of the anti-gel. Only thing that hurts is maybe the pocket look a little bit, pay a little extra anti-gel. So the risk reward of, of deciding like when I add it, too many people add it too late because while the cloud point, that level where it starts to get cloudy, that fuel is still good. You can still run on cloud pointed fuel, but the chemistry involved with treating diesel fuel really needs to take place before the cloud point. And so that's why people feel the product didn't perform. They'll say, man, I gelled up and I used this product, you know, and it dipped down to 10 degrees then I gelled up. Well, when did you treat it? Well, I treated it this morning, you know, and it could be, but we've been in the 20s since last week. Well, if you're in the 20s for, for a week, if you're 32, that cloud point has already started. So you really want to treat the fuel before you're even worried about the deep freeze part. But why is it? There we go. Yeah. <laughs> I was waiting for it to circle around. When it hits the cloud point, that's when the wax starts to form. Right. And anti-gels are basically a wax crystal modifier. So they eliminate larger chunks of wax building upon each other into giant chunks. The reason you need to add it before the cloud point is once it hits the cloud point, it's already starting to accumulate and build upon itself. The chemistry involves stopping those crystals from growing any bigger.